Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Alta Extreme 365 3250 KXT travel trailer. This is a triple slide out rear living room trailer setup. This unit is built more for the extended stay or full timer type of customer. Lots of higher end fifth wheel features brought down into the travel trailer market here. Taller ceiling heights, taller slide outs, dual pane windows, heat pumps on your air conditioners, just a lot of really higher end type of features packed into a trailer that you normally don't find. Even has three inch thick sidewalls. All right, we're gonna step inside, show you what it's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Ulta Extreme 365 3250 KXT travel trailer. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago, this is a triple slide out rear entertainment setup with a master bedroom in the front. We're going to start back here in the back and then we'll kind of work our way forward. So first things up, you can hopefully tell here a little bit in the camera system that this thing is a much taller ceiling height. This thing is 96 inches tall inside which also gives you taller slide outs as well. So when you're standing up out of your uh, little seats here, you're less likely to have any type of problem with hitting your head on your slides when it comes to the lower end units. So we have a trifold sofa over here that'll flip out, make into a bed. And then we have two theater seat setups here as well. So you can really kick back, do some entertaining, watch a movie or something on a nice rainy day. You have an electric fireplace here, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Jensen stereo with indoor outdoor speakers, large TV here. Now all of the windows in this living room area do open. These windows are also dual pane, deep tent safety glass windows. So you have two layers of glass where traditionally in a travel trailer, you're just gonna have one single pane of glass. Looking up top here, you can see one of your two 15,000 BTU ducted ACs with built-in heat pumps. That's a rare feature to find in a travel trailer and even in most fifth wheels. So you have a heat pump in this air conditioner and the front one you'll see when we get up there. So right now, we have three heat sources just there. The fireplace, the two heat pumps, and then they throw in a fourth heat source with a 40,000 BTU propane heater. So again, trying to make sure this thing stays nice and warm if you're in extreme or colder weather. And also extreme heat as well. All vinyl floor throughout the RV. Lots of storage and taller cabinetry in here as well. There is also a roof vent up there with a little fan in it. Into the kitchen area here, you're getting more residential appliances. So you got that large GE microwave, the large GE oven, four burner cooktop with the glass front as well. And then you have the big ever chill uh, 12 volt refrigerator over there also. You have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Now for the dinette area, you have a sliding slash turning table. Right now it's in dinette mode. There's actually two folding chairs that are in the closet in there you could bring out here in case you have guests. But this will also turn sideways and then you could maybe even push it back and use it as like a little desk to give you some more room in the kitchen if you want. There's a propane leak detector down there, some electric outlets, USB charger ports. Look at a big window here overlooking the awning side or campsite area of your RV. High rise spring sprayer faucet over there. You do have the four drawers and some storage down below your sink area there. And quite a bit of upper cabinet space too. Right here, as you enter the RV, 
You're going to have your control panel here with your slides and your awning button along with some light switches, your monitor panel as well. The vent that's over there in the kitchen area has an up and down button. You also have your uh, on-demand water heater controls as well. AC and heat pump controls here along with the propane furnace. This is a really nice feature here. Again, trying to make this thing more extended stay kind of thing. This is 12 volt tank heaters and water line heaters. Again, they're expecting people with these type of RVs to be able to camp in colder weather. So not only are they heating the tanks, they're also heating water lines as well. Now right here on the left, we have our bathroom area here. So kind of starting from the floor up, you have a porcelain foot flush toilet here. There is a little sink area right here with some storage down there as well. It's spin around here from the other way so you can see a little better. There's another uh, button over there for the vent up here with the fan so you can turn the fan on and off or raise and lower that lid as well. Step in shower, ABS tub surround. Does have that uh, pull across vinyl door there and sliding door for privacy from the bedroom. Now you can kind of see on the side of the bed down there, there's also an electric outlet and USB charger port too. Sliding door to block off the hallway from the bedroom. So you have some storage up above that bed right there. You have three windows there, and all three of those windows do open. Again, dual pane windows. Camper King bed. Looking up at your ceiling here, you can see that second 15,000 BTU GE air conditioner with heat pump. Control for that AC and heat pump are over there on the wall. Motion light in the closet there you just seen pop on. Over here, you got your little dresser area, so you have a little bit of storage there, USB charger ports on the side. There is another window over there that opens, and you have TV hookups here on the uh, ceiling, so you could mount your TV there on the wall if you want to. Just remember not to use too long a screw. This one's a little better than most, but this has a roughly three inch thick sidewall where most brands are only two inches or inch and a half. So you do have a little more thickness there, but there is a sticker on the wall right there that tells you where the backer is, so you know where to mount it. Then you do have this large closet up here, and again, motion light. There's two motion lights in here, but you can see these extra two chairs. Those are for the uh, dinette area in there. And you also have a little sticker right down there in case you do you want to put a dryer in here. Tells you to drill the dryer vent to go right through there. Hanging closet bar here going all the way across the RV. You have your washer dryer hookups over there. So you could do combo washer dryer or a side-by-side -side setup kind of washer dryer. You have a lot of little shelf space right here. For your doors, you have sliding doors there for privacy or for blocking off the uh, clothes and stuff that's in there. But you do have kind of a mirror set up there. But a very, very nice setup here. Appears to be extremely put together well on the construction of your body and everything of the RV. All right, now I want to head outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV. We'll go over some things out there as well, such as, you know, four inch, uh, 400 watts of solar, you know, high output on-demand water heaters, different little things we're going to show you out there. And we're going to come back in real quick, and we're going to close it up for you, show you what it looks like closed, too. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Alta Extreme 365 3250 KXT travel trailer here. 
and we're going to start here on the door side and we will kind of work our way around for you so first things up we have a white fiberglass exterior aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewall attached to the upgraded asdale composite material but what makes it even better is it is three inches thick instead of a two inch or inch and a half sidewall that you typically find on travel trailers so much better insulation for your sidewall construction you got an electric outlet here awning in out button here motion light in here you can see some of that aluminum tube framing thicker baggage doors with slam locks the unit has deep tent safety glass windows and those are again dual pane windows which again you don't usually find until you get into high end fifth wheels Traditional RV entry door and screen door. It does have the window built in. That window is Lippert Thin Shade ready. You have the heavy duty more ride entrance step here. This is rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet. Back in behind there is also a little metal kind of toolbox thing back there. So you could maybe stash a few extra dirty tools back there. You have that ped friendly leash latch holder. The large folding entry handle here. You do have two outdoor speakers up there. The power awning with the LED light strip built in. Manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. And adjustable arms for tilting. Down below here, you can see electric stabilizer jacks down there. Those are individually controlled. You'll see those buttons when we get over to the other side. You have some low point water drains down there. And again, a triple insulated floor system. So your underbelly is better insulated along with heated water lines, 12 volt heat pads, and the furnace kind of blowing some heat down there as well to try and really extend the use of this thing. Currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. You have aluminum wheels, easy loop hubs, drum brakes, there is an electric outlet out here and cable outlet as well. Now the slide out is also pre-prepped up there for Solair slide toppers. Those are a nice thing to consider adding. They roll in and out with your slide room, basically helping to shade the room. It repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. You have a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end here with a fold in and out ladder there. Ladder's rated for 250 pounds. You have your spare tire mounted to your traditional four inch square tube bumper. It is pre-prepped in the top center right there for the Furion rear observation camera. Nice feature to consider adding, lets you see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road, backing into a campsite, that type of stuff. Now you can see right here you have individual controls for the back electric jacks. You also have your 50 amp detachable power cord hookup right there. Right here you're going to have your suburban on-demand water heater. You do have your black tank flush right here. There's also a light right here, so you can see what's going on if you have to dump at nighttime. Now just underneath the there is your gray galley and black tank dumps. So everything comes out of this one area. Those are cable dump handles, so the gate valves are up inside that underbelly. Again, trying to keep everything nice and warm and toasty in the cold weather. Now right here, we're gonna have a little bit of what they refer to as a docking station right here. So there is a light right here with motion setting or on off setting. You have your front cap light, electric outlet, cable satellite inlets, battery disconnect. You have your uh, outside utility shower, city water and fresh water Phillips right here. Again, a little bit thicker slam lock baggage door. The front jack controls right there. Then you have some storage here, which goes under the bed, and it has a shock assist on there as well. 
The other side of the compartment here has an electric outlet in it, motion light, and your inverter up here as well. Just down below, fresh water tank and the uh, drain for it right there. And you can also see this is a drop frame front, giving you a little bit more storage area there. Now right here, you're gonna have some very important informational stickers. So this one right here tells us our gross weight, 11,700 pounds. That's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, don't exceed that. You have a dry weight with all these options and upgrades on it of 10,448 pounds. ST23580R16 E-range tires with an 80 PSI cold, and it is 38 feet, five inches long. Now here on the front, you have a nice three-quarter fiberglass front cap with the glow LED light strips on it. It has a lower diamond plate metal. You have two 30-pound propane tanks here. There's a power tongue jack as well. You have the heavy-duty safety chain, seven-way Bargman plug, and you also have a two and five sixteenths hitch ball. And then you have two deep cycle batteries here as part of their 400 watt solar package as well. So very, very nice unit here. So if you again are looking for something that is more extreme for the weather, even if it's heat, this is going to keep you better off than your traditional inch and a half or two inch wall RV with single pane glass. This thing here again, that's why they call it the Extreme 365, is going more for that full-timer extended stay type of customer to give you the ability to do so. All right, well, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now back inside the brand new 2024 Alta 3250 KXT travel trailer here. And I wanted to show you what it looks like all closed up. So when you are ready to close things up, you come back in here, you have two slide buttons here, and you have your bed slide button over here. So basically, when you're ready to do it, you just hit the buttons to bring them in. Now I've already done that to kind of speed this process up for us. So when all three slides are closed, I can still come inside the RV. I can get to my refrigerator here, load it with groceries or whatever. If I'm traveling down the road, need to stop at the grocery store, I can come in here, do that without having to, you know, open things up. Now, if I really wanted to, I could probably climb over this and get to something in the back if I had to, but it's much easier just to hit the button and run the room out a little bit so I can go back there. Going on back to the bedroom area, you can see nothing interferes with the bathroom, so we can get to the bathroom if we're stopping at a rest area or something. I can come right on in here to my bedroom, lay down, take a nap. I could climb over the bed, get to my closet if I really had to. So with it closed up, I still have access to do all of the basic stuff needed during travel. Now let's step out here real quick, show you what this thing looks like closed as well. All right, folks, if you don't mind, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. And as always, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again, guys, for watching my videos.